In this video, I'm about to show y'all the top six best tier one team to use or to win games to compete with your opponent. And the best of the best, all right? And y'all y'all be surprised who's number one on this list, all right? All right, number six, I gotta go with Chicago Bulls because you got Alonzo Ball, Zach Levine, and, and DeRozan. Now, with these three guys, they are so good and they underrated. A lot of guys don't talk about them. I don't know why. But Lonzo Ball, he will lock up your favorite point guard, such as Steph Curry, Dane Dollar, Russell Westbrook, John Morant, and etc. And you got Zach Levine, the guy that will dunk on you. He can shoot the three ball. His three balls are 87. So you can't leave that man open. He got a nice jumper. You can easily time it when he open. He can even hit a contested shot, so it don't even matter. And you got the Rosen, the guy that have an 83 ball. He, he's improved his three ball in the past five two Ks in the NBA. Now, what is crazy about the Rosen is that he was he was a top five winner of MVP race, and he was going crazy with the Bulls. So you can't leave that man open either, especially from the three point line. And he gonna dunk on you like crazy. Now that don't be afraid to use Chicago Bulls and Tail One encouraging because they're a great team to use. They they really hard to stop. Even though they don't have no defense. The only person who got defense is Lonzo Ball. So you good because there's a lot of great point guards anyway. So you're going to need guys like Lonzo Ball. And plus, he got an 85 three ball, am I mistaken? So he would hit them if you open. But his jumper is kind of off, so you got to learn how to shoot with him. But other than that, Chicago Bulls, it kind of slept on. So don't be afraid to use them, but you will win games if your opponent is, is trash. All right, guys, number five is the Warriors. Do y'all think I got this wrong by putting them at number five? Let me know in the comment section because to me, they number five. I don't use them that often. I only use the 16 Warriors and the 17 Warriors. I don't use the current Warriors. I had no reason to. They're basically the same, but I think the historic version is more better than the current, in my opinion, because Clay Thompson is the 83 overall in the current Warriors, but like in the 16 and 17 Warriors, he's the 91 or 92. So, why I play with the current, you can just play with with the 17 Warriors or the 16 Warriors. They're much better. And Draymond Green is kind of trash in the current Warriors too. So it's okay if you want to stay at the freshman year league to abuse with the Warriors. It's fine with that. But in it, at the end of the day, Steph Curry, like he's still Steph Curry at the end of the day. He's a 97 overall. He got a 99 three ball, 99 main range. Same thing with Klay Thompson, 99 this and 99 that. Hall of Fame badges, dead eye, sniper, no, they don't got Snipe Hall of Fame. They got Dead Eye on Hall of Fame. What they got a Hall of Fame? Chef and Limited Spot Up. So that's all you need, and that's all you got for for the Warriors. So all you need to do is know how to dribble with Curry, use pick and rolls, and you're good. That's it. So do y'all think that the current Warriors is cheese, or you think they easy to stop? Once you stop Curry, and that's it. But if you want to win games, play with the Warriors. All right, number four is the Lakers. Now, I understand in real life, they trash. They didn't make it to the playoffs. I get all that. But this is different from the video game. I'm going to tell you why. Because they still OP. They still the problem. They got the height and advantage. You got Russell Westbrook. He's a 78 overall, overall, but he doesn't play like it. He played like an 85 overall in this game because he got gold badges. So don't let that fool you. Now, LeBron James is LeBron James. He's still going to do him. So he's still OP to this day. And you got N.D. Davis still OP. The only problem is, is that his, his three ball... Is a 70 right so you can still green it but you can't hit your whites you might get lucky to hit them but not that often you must green your shot so Andy Day still had defense he's still scoring you inside the paint and, and, and things like that so they still OP LeBron James still dogging on people to this day so don't let this Lakers fool you saying oh they trash no they not trash they really good in the video game not real life real life I don't know what's going on with that I'm very shocked they ain't make it to the playoffs, but this team is fun to use. If you want to win games, use that team wisely, all right, guys? Use the Lakers and compete with teams such as the 76ers, the Bucks, the Clippers, the Warriors, Miami, and so on and so on. Like Dallas, any great teams, you can still use the Lakers and compete. It does not matter who you are. No, actually, it does. If you're nice, you should have no problem. Okay, guys, number three, we got to go with the Clippers because you got Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. These two guys, they, not only they know how to score the ball, but also they can play defense and they can lock down your favorite players, all right? They can lock down your favorite point guard, your favorite shooting guard, small forward, power forward. It does not matter. It's that center. They don't play center, so it don't matter. But you got to be careful. Will you use this team? You will get passing lanes. 
you want to lock down your opponent, they, they might cry, they might get mad, or they might quit, they won't get frustrated, all type of stuff when you use that team because they will guarantee you a win when you use this Clippers team. And you got a bad chance of competing if, you go, if you're going up against a competitive player. So you're going to need the Clippers and practice with them because they they very good. And Kawhi Leonard had the Ray Allen base jump shot and different release. And Paul Jones got a nice release as well. And he got quick first step on silver. So he get able to move. Also, Kawhi Leonard has Hall of Fame clamps and he got a Hall of Fame menace. And he got a goal interceptor and he got a goal intimidator. The same thing with Paul George. He got a goal intimidator as well. But the only problem is he got silver or clamps. You still you can still clamp guys up with a silver bash, so it don't really matter. But Paul George, the way he moves on defense is crazy. He's 6'8. He got a longer arm. It's not longer than Kawhi Leonard, but they they both of these guys can play passing lanes. And you need help with that, so they very good at it. So you're not gonna have any issues getting the ball in the passing lanes. And not only that, they could strip you when you dribbling the ball as well. But you're not gonna get it all the time because they pass the game, but you gotta know how to time it. And try to get the bump still because you will get rewarded. Now, this team is deadly, even though they ain't make it to the playoffs. But in the video game, they are too good. So make sure you use them and you will get a win. All right, number two is 76ers. You got T. Harris, you got Joel B, you got James Harden, you got Tybo, you have Maxi. Now, these guys right here in the video game, they're so good. And I'm telling you, you can't, you can't really stop drawing B because he's one of the best centers in, in the NBA right now. And not only that, you got James Harden, a guy that, you know, is crazy in real life. They seem like he fell off, but in the video game, he is too good. Like the way he moved the ball, his dribble style is excellent. He can speed boost. It's really hard to guard him, man. So you got to be on your toes. You got to be, you got to be disciplined if you guard James Harden, because especially if you know how to dribble with this guy, I'm telling you, you're going to be very nice. So you won't be disappointed with him either. And he can shoot the three ball. He can still dunk the basketball. I don't know how, but the way he dunked the ball, you'd be surprised. You'd be like, what? So use this team. They, like, you can do what you want with this team. They got defense. Top ball, you see that block right there. And he got Embiid. Like, no no today's sentence can stop Embiid. No today's sentence. You need, like, a Hall of Fame sentence to stop him. Like, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Shaq. So that's the only way those those guys could stop and slow down Joel and B. But James Harden, he gonna do him like always. And the way he moved the ball, he moved too damn fast. And he can shoot. So he is too good in this game. So you won't be disappointed. All right. The the team they got waiting for to be number one is the Bucks. Oh man, Giannis is Giannis, man. He always OP every year. It don't matter. Especially you go straight up. Once you get down that paint, it's over. It don't matter. And he got home fan intimidator. And all that stuff, he will make guys miss. And he can play one through five position, so it don't matter where he's at. He will guard anybody. It does not matter. This dude is a true demon guard. He's like a park player. So you're able to dunk on people with Giannis, the way he moves the ball. You can put him at point guard. He moves so damn fast. Like, he can finish at will. He can shoot the mid-range if he's open. Three ball, you can try it, but it don't matter. You could green it if you know how to shoot with him. But you see that contested leg that he just made? I'm telling you, this Giannis right here is a problem. 